lovely people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today so this is an addendum i've done a similar video on the same channel so in case you've not seen that first video kindly look for it this is the part two to the video i made on side hustles you can involve yourself in if you are migrating to the uk or if you currently stay or live in the uk i'm talking from experience of my family living in the uk even though currently i do not live in the uk but i am like a globe trotter i am like back and forth but my primary residence is currently in lagos nigeria so i'm talking from experience of my parents and like many of my siblings and many people that i know that live in the uk based on what i have garnered from them so guys another side hustle you can do if you're in the uk is clothing business i know many people might think that clothing might not thrive in the uk because of course uk has like one of the best like clothing styles in the world i personally prefer shopping from there because for me they have like if i'm trying to buy like english clothing i'd rather buy from there than from like north america and all that i prefer the uk i prefer their standards i prefer the kind of styles they have so most people might think that clothing as a third party or as an outsider might not thrive in the uk but it depends on the kind of clothing you're bringing so for instance you're adding a touch of like african afrocentric to a touch of english because another thing is of course uk is a cold climate it, you might be thinking that how would I sell this kind of clothes so how about you using like a tie and dye or like an Ankara to make like warm clothing you might think it's nothing that you can't achieve but you can like have you ever thought about it so there's a warm jacket but how about you having it in like tie and dye tie and dye i've actually bought a shirt before that is really really warm and it was made in tie and dye like something that you can wear for autumn something that people can wear in spring it might not really survive for winter but what about for spring for autumn these are two seasons that people definitely want to get clothing for so you can do that kind of thing so convert like normal jackets to like a tie and dye and something that people can wear during spring and autumn and that's a business you can have so of course you'll be selling it in the uk but you might have like your primary factory or like people working for you back home and of course if you set the business right it will definitely work so you can sell it primarily in the uk you can sell it to people if you have a community in church in the mosque amongst your community basically amongst your children's um, friends parents and all that basically your community just let them know that I have this stuff for sale if they like it if it's like an ingenious idea I am sure people will run with it they will welcome it and this is an idea that I personally if I live somewhere like in the UK I might want to try it out so I might be going for a party I want to look like different I don't want to wear like in my normal jacket jacket I and mean, i want to have like a tie and dye winter jacket sweater the list is endless so you might have it in like a mufflers you can have it in like a hat you can have it in like even your gloves you can have it in like your sweaters i've said everything so you can think of other ideas so there are many things that people use which they can't live without which they can't live without if it is cold you need to wear your sweater so just tell them that i have a tie and dye sweater i have this and that they might buy they will buy another side hustle you can engage yourself in while in the uk is skincare of course some people might feel that oh skincare is like the boast like it's endless I, because i buy my skincare definitely from like uk their products i buy like um imported products my my top product that i buy is la roche posay it's a french product but i buy it in the uk if i go to france if i go to the uk i usually get it i love their products a lot but these days most people are swinging towards organic skincare by organic i mean like natural stuff people want to use more black soap people want to use like calm wood people want to use sheer butter people want to use um all this like locally made stuff that we can mix together turmeric and all that that they know that is really organic and is really natural most people are tending towards it these days it's like the way natural hair is sticking everywhere so most people are like okay instead of using using this like very cosmetic products that i imported why don't i use the natural ones personally i know that natural skincare um 
business owners in the in nigeria are making a lot of money yes i know that because they like advertise their products people see it working like there's a particular lady i know on instagram like even if you've bleached and probably your skin has gone bad if you talk to her she can help you this is like from we've seen reviews so it's not like something hidden at all i think her name on instagram is fab slim talks so you can imagine that kind of person being in um, um, UK and she lives there who says you can have that kind of business there just register it do your research nobody I'm sure she learns it I'm sure she learns it even if it is like a talent you still need to learn some of those things you need to learn some of the right ingredients to mix together what will give you this what to give you a flawless skin what to give you this and that I myself am a skincare person but I have not studied it in depth into like how to make it into skincare products like I know what and what can make you flow can give you flawless skin and all that i can give you tips but i have not like gone or ventured it into full skill to say okay i am selling skincare products of course with that you need to study and learn how to like preserve it how to make it work by the time you combine all those ingredients together so what if i stay in the uk i will find my skincare business because i know people it's like food you can't stop at one product you can't say i bought skincare today i'm not buying tomorrow it's an ongoing thing it's just the way you breathe is the way you drink water is the way you eat your food skincare is something like that so you keep on making your money every month you have your monthly periods hormones come see my face so that kind of thing you are looking for the kind of products that can help you You're looking for products that even with weather yes with the weather with the UK weather for instance some people react badly I know some people that they can't use the kind of products that are so fair they have to import their soap from Nigeria so if they can readily get it in the UK why would they need to start importing from Nigeria that will cost them more though your price might be like of course charge them pounds and all that but it's like for me instead of me waiting endlessly for it to come from Lagos Nigeria or something if I know I can buy from somewhere in UK and they're shipping it to me that day or the next day why not so you can form your you can start your own skincare business as well just do your research do your research on everything you need to do preservation type of skin type of product and all that and the ball is in your court i can leave people that to be honest because these are things that people ask me i can leave links if this is what you are looking for there's this lady on um there's this lady on instagram kudos healthy living yes kudos healthy living she does skin care she does hair care as well so hair care is another thing it's just like skin care we all want our hair to grow you want your baby's hair to grow you want your children's hair to grow your daughters you want to make their hair probably their ages are falling off even you as an adult someone like me i had a baby some months ago my hair is long and full but one thing that deals with me very well that postpartum hair loss i suffer it a lot like and it's my edges it falls off like it falls right off so but there are products i use and it's growing gradually so these are things that people want if they can instantly get that thing like skincare hair care they will call on you you will sell another thing you can do like of course we all know about this is makeup but if you don't have the strength for makeup guys oh my god just learn how to tie gilly lagos is brimming like i have seen people legit buy cars buy houses and there's one guy that like when i see those people it, their story touches me because i know like how some of us started and how we are venturing now even if you're not makeup is something that can take you a whole lot you have to buy products you have to buy this you have to buy that but gilly you don't need too much you just need your hands your hands the products you even buy might not be more than like one or two packs of pins finish the major thing you need is the skill if it means you coming down to lagos to learn it's worth it to be honest if it means that before you travel you learn how to tie it for one week you will make money like i know a guy on instagram shagun gilly this guy travels everywhere like people are getting married in the uk they book for visa for him the fly this guy out to dubai i'm not kidding he went to Ethiopia recently he goes he goes out he tied my mom's um 65th um birthday photo shoots gilly as at that time i know how much i spent in lagos nigeria i don't think that guy's on the same level as when i called him three years ago like 
as a as a now i'm going to be paying like a lot more Girl, it's not just like five thousand come and tie and go like because their styles there's the way they do it and this is i like the fact that makeup is kind of like different from gilly so most times you book your gilly separately you book your makeup separately so if you're in the uk as well learn all the styles like people will call you and the thing is when they know you they will call you they can call you to travel with them to like outside the uk you can go to england you can go to other neighboring countries you can go to the you you can go to the other european country someone is getting married here someone wants to do a party here because i know the way it is we Lagosians or we nigerians don't like being left out so i know the way parties are like in england i've attended like a number of parties and you won't even feel anything people want to be gaily dressed people want to look their best and people are ready to spend that money for brides for friends of the bride for sisters of the bride for the mothers of the bride are you kidding me people want the service so it's not saturated trust me if it's only gaily you can tie learn that skill one week tops just learn it in lagos before you travel and don't keep quiet about it. I think the most important thing is not even about the skill you've learned, but how you can market yourself. Keep it in our faces. Keep telling people on WhatsApp. Let them on your WhatsApp status, your Instagram status. Keep telling them. Like somebody will remember that, oh, this person ties this very well. And she ties it. He or she. It doesn't even have to be a she anyway. The best gaily guys or the best gaily vendors I know now are many. They are mostly men. Like guys. Like I have a number of them. Like Shegu is one of them. T-Boy is another. There are a lot of them now in Lagos. So if you're traveling, just do some training and you can do that so for this video the last side hustle i'll tell you to do is charity so you can do charity charity of course is second hand is thrift it's vintage whatever name you call it it's okay i call it charity basically because okay you can get things from charity stores you can do more research if you want to focus on this as a full-fledged business but even if you don't focus on it as a full-fledged business as a side also it's also very good so there are many charity stores that even me i buy many things from in the uk like anytime i visit london because guys you have to be wise and it's not even about you like saving money number one you're saving money but another thing is that I like the kind of things I see in charity stores like I said vintage I really get vintage stuff there like I get things for less there are things I have bought and nobody will believe that I got this from a charity store so the list is endless you can buy clothes you can buy shoes you can even have a niche because I know one thing that is like really common now in nigeria is like cookware kitchenware most people are like really investing a lot in their kitchenware and their cookware their plates their cups like unique things people want a lot of that and people are looking towards charity because if it's not sometimes these new things they are buying is what people call china in quotes and sometimes people will say that china it doesn't last and all that they will rugged china you get what i mean so people don't mind spending on like second hand not because they don't have that money but because they know that this is unique this is original i am spending and i'm getting my money's worth so people want a lot of that so if you can be sending this to lagos people will buy like i know people on instagram that they upload pictures and it gets sold out within seconds like i follow some of these pages and even though i know that most of them are doing it on a large scale probably they are like shipping it they are buying like a bit of like container and all that you can start the same thing once you know we're in uk that people you can start buying from at 50p you're sending it to lagos someone is selling it for 2000 naira of course transportation will take a chunk of the money but you calculate everything if everything is coming to us as like at 1000 naira and you're selling at 2000 2005 that's not bad that's for one item by the time you calculate it on several items it will all it will definitely add up so some people don't know where to source this from if you that you're in the uk you're buying it and you're sending it down to nigeria it will make a lot of sense just have like um someone that can receive it for you somebody trusted of course that can receive it that can sell it for you because 
these are things that people are looking forward to buying because you don't want to spend your money these days you are spending so much and the thing by the second day it's packing up who has time for that money is difficult to make these days money is scarce so things are expensive so you want to buy something that you know that i have used and use it and that's the thing with thrift with charity most times you get tired of that product and you're passing it to someone else it happens to me many times to be honest and like okay you've used this plate you really want to get tired of it and like okay let me even have a change that kind of thing so these are some of the things you can do like okay clothing might be something that okay nobody has time to buy clothes now but i know for certain something like mugs plates like people are looking forward to buying this now you know the way food blogging has taken over everywhere now social media and all that so people are looking out more that okay so in my kitchen i can have this kind of tray i can serve my kids better with this kind of plate i can have this kind of kettle i can have this kind of thing people are becoming more aware now and people want to buy this product the major thing is to have it and have it at our disposal so if you can bring it down to us we will buy I personally I will buy so guys these are some of the side hustles I believe you can do if you live in UK or if you are migrating to the UK so guys with these few points of mine I hope I've been able to like help someone out there to convince you to let you know things you can do if you are migrating either as a student as a permanent resident whatever that you can do well in the uk because everybody needs to make extra cash you get i totally feel you so these are some of the things i've mentioned to like my people to my community and they're also my community so i need to let you know about this just in case someone wants to know this if this video helped you or made sense to you please give me a thumbs up and kindly share because you don't know who might need this bit of information i would love to see you come back to my channel and with that don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as well so that you will know when i drop brand new videos i'll see in the other ones take care stay beautiful to better health and to more wealth okay bye bye guys